Hi guys, I'm Kat from Ohi DIY and in today's video I am going to be talking breastfeeding. So it's funny that I'm making this video now because actually we are coming to the end of our breastfeeding journey um, but looking back on it I do think that there's not enough support for people early on. Um, you know there's a lot of support in terms of getting the baby to latch sort of that initial oh you can do it but actually no one prepares you for quite how difficult it is, how tough it is, particularly in the first sort of six weeks or so when you don't know what you're doing, you've got a new baby massively overwhelmed and also you've got all this sort of physiological stuff going on and you're trying to feed your baby. Um, so I've just made a little video of my top five sort of hints, tips, insights into early days of breastfeeding to try and pass on a little bit of what I learned um, to see if it can help someone else. Uh, so we're going to go in with number one. Number one is, it hurts, but not for long. So, no one really tells you it hurts. You kind of expect that it's pretty easy. You know, once the baby's on, it's natural. Why would it hurt? Um, but the letdown, which is when your milk comes through in the the baby's on and then the, the body lets the milk out for the first time um, is pretty uncomfortable. Now it's not agonising pain but it is sort of but that's it. It's for a few seconds. It's not very long. Now when you obviously when you're feeding the baby lots of times a day it can be a bit oh no but it doesn't last. Don't let that be enough to put you off um, because after a couple after a few weeks I don't even really remember how many weeks it was probably about two weeks um it just goes away and then it, and then it is how you expect no pain but you've just got to get used to it like anything it's a new thing um it's in a sensitive area um so just persevere with it because if you want to breastfeed it'll totally be worth it I'm not making this video to pressure anyone into breastfeeding um you know Obviously, it's scientifically proven that it's the best thing. However, everyone's decision is their own. I'm not judging. I wanted to breastfeed, and I've done it. Um, but there were lots of things and lots of times when I was like, why am I doing this? This is awful. So I'm just trying to prepare you for those times so you can go into it with, I know this is coming, but I know that it ends as well. Number two. Um, it's really messy, particularly early on. So again, you kind of think, Babies on, drinking, no mess. Absolutely not the case. Babies don't stay on there. Babies are on and off, popping on and off all the time. And what I didn't realise is your boobs are like water pistols. It literally sprays out everywhere. Um, so the best tip that I can give you for this is be prepared with muslins, lots and lots and lots of muslins. They're amazing, super absorbent. You can cover yourself, you can cover the baby, you can wipe things up with them always great for when they're sick after um, and also a little tip when you are finished with muslins you can use them as amazing hair towels because they're so absorbent they're really they're better than actual towels for taking all the water out of hair after you've had a shower um, muslins are a good one and also so my top tip is I bought a pack of really cheap flannels from Ikea I will link the details below um, and what I did was I tucked it underneath, into my bra, sort of underneath my boob as I was feeding because it sort of runs down and then your bra can get wet and then that's really uncomfortable but if you tuck the flannel in it's protected and you dry so that's a really great thing. Again the messiness doesn't really last. Um, once you get more practice at it obviously you it's not going everywhere and then as your boobs get used to it after kind of a couple of months it's not messy at all really. Um, but you do sort of have to persevere with it. I remember that I was sat in a cafe in sort of the early couple of months with Theo and my friend and her baby, who's just a few days younger than Theo, and she couldn't breastfeed and she was really upset about that. Um, but she pulled out um, this ready-made bottle of formula in a bottle on the table and just got it ready and then the baby was on her knee and feeding and it was all very civilised. And I had to feed Theo and milk went everywhere, it was all over my top um, and I had nothing to hide it with and I was just like, oh why, this is like, I just, <laughs> I want to be able to do that. Um, but again, I didn't give up uh, and I'm really, really glad that I didn't. Um, but it is, you know, unfortunately, it is super messy. 
Um, the third thing is nipple cream and breast pads. Stock up. Starting with nipple cream, so there's um, a Lancino Lanolin nipple cream that I use right from the start. So someone told me, and I'm telling you, don't wait until your nipples are sore to use nipple cream. Absolutely not. Use it from the beginning. After every feed, put it on because then your nipples won't get sore and you don't. You definitely don't want to get to that point. Um, the Lancino one was really good. It's also great because you don't have to wipe it off. Um, if the baby wants to feed again, it's perfectly safe for the baby. So you can just sort of leave it on. It's got kind of a waxy, vaseline consistency so it keeps you nice and moist but it doesn't irritate um it's really good so that is a really really important one because if anything happens where your boobs are sore it becomes unbearable um so prevent that and from the start i had a tube upstairs next to the bed and i had one downstairs in the living room so that i didn't have to mess about and i wasn't forgetting so i would definitely definitely recommend doing that and then breast pads, I tried a lot of breast pads, boots ones, supermarket ones, again the best ones were Lancino ones, I'm not sponsored by Lancino, never been in touch with them, I'm just telling you what's the best. The Lancino ones have two sticky strips on them, so they stick really well into your bra, what I found with the other ones was that they didn't stay attached, so obviously because you're moving your bra around, as you sort of, the baby's on and off they don't stay put and then they're falling out and then that's annoying or they're moving as you're moving um, and so then they're not in place and you find that your bra's wet um, it's just not ideal so I would definitely say the Lancino ones and they can hold a lot of breast milk um, so you're not they're not overflowing either um, they were really good in case just in case you don't know what breast pad is breast pads like basically a sandwich yourself for your boobs because your boobs leak again that's another hit back to the messy thing that you, your boobs do leak a lot um you need something in your bra so that you're not constantly wet through um, and the Lancino ones are absolutely the best I ordered in boxes of four from Amazon uh so that worked out well for me you can get them from Boots and other places uh they are pretty widely available but I would definitely definitely recommend them above any others okay number four what to wear be comfortable is my top tip but you know in saying that with being comfortable also you know people want to look nice I wanted to look nice after a bit um and I tried a lot of different things I did do a blog post um early on about my breastfeeding wardrobe so I will link that below but what I found so I bought a lot of maternity clothes sort of in or nursing tops and stuff in the early days so I had a lot of v-neck stuff that I could pull down was easy to get to sort of some of the two layered stuff and in the end what I found was actually just normal tops were the easiest ones that you can pull up because you can just pull them up and out of the way and then if you're in a public place um, or even in front of people you're not actually exposing all this flesh here and it's a lot more subtle um obviously some people might have a a sensitivity about getting the midriff out but you can't really see it because the baby's there and if you wear high-waisted stuff which I do um, there's not actually a lot of skin on show so for me all the nursing stuff that I bought a lot of it was pretty much a waste of time because I could have just worn the normal stuff that I had anyway um, and in the end that's what I've done just gone back to wearing that um, but each to their own I know a lot of people do find the nursing tops really helpful um so you've just got to do what's best for you really but that's my tip um i did for the first well up until very recently actually wear sleep bras 90 percent of the time um so i got them from h&m again i'll link them below they're basically sort of a crop top that wraps at the front so they were dead easy sort of easy access to sort of just pull to the side with actual nursing bras that you with the clips i just found it really fiddly when you're trying to do it with one hand and it was just frustrating um so it didn't really work for me i did i did have what sort of one maternity bra that i wore or nursing bra that i wore the most often when i needed to wear an actual bra because obviously the um sleep bras had thick straps so if i wanted to wear something with just a thin strap um, i did wear the mumba bra so i did a review of that it was gifted to us um 
I don't have to say this, I never have to mention it again after the review, but genuinely, it's the one that I wore if I wasn't wearing a sleep bra because it gave me a really nice shape under my clothes um, and the catch was not too fiddly um, and it it just fit really well. So I would definitely recommend that one to you if you were looking for um, a, an actual nursing bra as opposed to sort of the sleep bras. But for me, the sleep bras did the trick and they come in packs of two. Um, I got different colours and they've served me really well up until now when I've stopped and I've made the transition back to real bras, instruments of torture. Okay, and finally, um, don't be scared. I know that I had a lot of sort of concern about breastfeeding in public earlier. I was always really worried that someone was going to say something to me. You hear a lot of stories about how, you know, people have come over and shamed people who were breastfeeding in public and you know obviously no one wants that to happen um but it absolutely didn't happen to me i found largely that no one cares or no one notices because you can be so subtle about it that it doesn't have to draw attention to you or sort of anything that's going on um it's 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 really easy to breastfeed in public. It's a lot easier. I'm, you know, I'm finding now that we've switched to formula, you know, you've got to do a lot more forward planning when you go out. You know, I've got to have a flask of hot water, some cold water, the formula, the bottle. And I never had to do that before because all I had to have was myself and a muslin. Um, so there's a lot of benefits of breastfeeding just to your lifestyle in terms of convenience. In the night, you don't have to make a bottle. You can just go, you can just go over to the baby even for all of the things I've said in this video, some of which sound negative, it is a really positive experience. It's a nice experience, you know, it's a bonding experience. Um, and yeah, you're sort of doing a good thing for your baby. I think it's, I really find it amazing how the body works, how, how you can produce everything that you need to keep a baby alive. That's amazing, like ridiculous. I also watched that breastfeeding program um, that was on the BBC and whether if you watched it you'll know this but I, if your baby's poorly your body changes the makeup of your breast milk to produce more antibodies to fight off whatever's wrong with them so it's not like you're producing the same milk all the time it varies throughout sort of the ups and downs of your child's life to sort of provide what they need at that time that's incredible that's like magic obviously science but Honestly, I just find it unbelievable. So that's it, they're my tips um, for breastfeeding. I hope that your breastfeeding journey is as enjoyable as mine has been. Um, and I am so proud of it and so glad that I did it. Really grateful that I was able to. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel um, if you have any questions or want to ask me anything about breastfeeding then please do leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer um, and I will be back soon thanks for watching